all the eggs. For 20 minutes. Here are the eggs now. Water emptied out. Let the dry off in the pan. Put the lid on top of the pan and give them a shake. And uh, it breaks all the eggshell up and lets the um, eggs cool down and the steam to lift off the shell or off the um, egg which dries the egg out a bit, which makes it easy to fluff up when you put it in the food processor. Today is Sunday and um, I give eggs to the birds and uh, I don't usually give them greens because uh, it's a little bit too much uh, for the uh, form all at once. So what we have here is um, Four cupfuls of seed. We have three eggs. For those students who have uh, film, the stain is still container I use. Any whiz made by Breville. This one is starting to show a few years of wear now. I've had it for about, I think about five years this one. And uh, of course, the plastic does start to show the sign. Of course, if you go down here, I'll just show you. I won't be using all these today. Okay, uh, but on the left hand side, the far left, um, top uh, left hand side, we have uh, Italian parsley. That other parsley there is the standard parsley. Heard things about that, but I don't know how true it is. A little bit of rosemary over there. I'll put that in with the carrot and the beetroot and uh, whiz it up and because uh, it's pretty solid, cut up finely. We've got basil and oregano. They're just all happy food for the birds. I don't know if they do anything for the birds, but they love it. So they get it. I'm not going to use apple today because what happens is you're going to try and keep the mix not too wet and not and not too dry. It's just going to be just slightly moist and that's why I call it a soft food mix. You need to understand that. If you're going to breed my birds, for the first year at least, you're going to follow the same type of recipe. And then you can do whatever you like if you reckon my recipe is not good enough and you've got a better recipe. Which I try to keep simple. I've used a kiss process and this is what um, I do. A lot of people seem to go their own way with a lot of birds they get from me, which is not very good. They will have problems. You might get fertility first up and after that You'll get nothing, you'll probably get dead chicks in the nest. You've got to follow exactly what the previous breed is doing. I'll give you the choice. Not many people do that because I want to see you improve in the hobby. Anyway, I do make my um, carrot up in a fillers container, which takes two one kilo bags of uh, carrot and three beetroots which I cut up and there's the, what size I cut it up to and then when I put it in the whiz bang you don't have to worry about it that's another time saving thing I have uh, added four cups of whole oats I've put it into the container as you can see and now what I'm going to do is add the uh, liquid gold which goes uh, 40 mil, uh, 40 milliliters to a kilo of seed. Four cups is about 750 mil, so people say, well, 
why are you going to uh, put 40 mil in? Because there's extras that I've got to put in. So if you take the weight of those other products there, uh, that, and that, <coughs> every crates to that amount of uh, liquid gold you've got to use because liquid gold states that you've got to use 40 mils to a kilo of seed. Kelsey Vet, Vet Farm, uh, Kelsey Vet, they say five mils per cupful. Mm, I, I would go with the 40 uh, mils uh, because there's a little bit more. However, in the breeding season, I will go one half times that. The reason is um, I need more uh, calcium, especially when they're laying and especially when the chicks are starting to grow feather. Yes, calcium, vitamin D3, vitamin D3, sorry, and all those manganese, copper, and zinc, and all that, whatever else that can be put into, uh, into the seed is very important for a good growth of the feather and I do believe myself after all these years I've been doing it that uh, a lack of calcium, vitamin D3, into birds causes feather problems. So for good feather use calcivet or liquid gold, all depends on your pocket. Liquid gold is exactly the same as calcivet the ship may have a few other little uh, products in it that are more of. Calzabet has a glutenate, which is uh, a, lot, uh, a lot more than that, and it's sweeter. And uh, whereas liquid gold is a tartier taste, which is, um, as so I haven't used it for one breeding season, but don't really know how it works. You've got to be very careful when you use calzabet, or cal a calcium product, and you have vitamin D3 and some local uh, uh, calcium products that are on the market at the moment are not quite panning out to what they should be because you've got to understand that D3 the majority of the time is a oily based uh, vitamin and of course you know what water and and um okay I've added the uh, liquid gold and see if we get a closer look up. You probably can see the colour has changed from the other film, so just race back to that one and you'll see it. But it has uh, changed a little bit. Time. And I'll put it into the whiz, whiz bang um, gadget and I fluff it up by going in reverse by using this reverse button down here which is the middle button couple of quick words, uh, quick reverse uh, spins and it doesn't take long for it to fluff up ok here's the uh, carrot and um, these are all mixed up and you see, I've kept any promise, and I've mostly wanted to put a little bit of good stuff there, but the majority of it is no bigger than 3 mil. Now I'll mix that in, and you can see the colour of the uh, hull boat, how it has gone a little bit of a darker colour, okay, which means, hey, it's absorbing all the... Um, uh, liquid gold. Okay, here is the hull oats mixed in with the beetroot and the carrot, and to feel it, see it's loose still, and most you can feel a little bit of it, but that's okay. Okay, it's not wet. 
can't be sloppy. And if you birds don't eat your food, I'll be questioning how wet it is or how dry it is. Usually it's too wet. So now I'm going to chop this all up fine <coughs> and add it to the mix. And then I'll do all these hungry gutted um, little buggers. They're uh, perfectly for the day. They love it. And the noise is getting worse and worse. They say buggy guards can't smell, but they seem to be looking at me at the side of their eyes, waiting for their food. Readers, but they were, they were, they were, they were total crap. So what I say is this. You have to produce the bird that's going to win you the national. You can have a big pocket and spend money and all that, but that is a cheap game. To do it properly, all you have to do is have common sense. My life with mine started off from birds. That I paid, I think, $200 for them. They were total inbred crap. And I had to extra, uh, extract out of them the quality that I wanted. And as you see, there's some quite nice birds that I've got floating around, like this little guy here, who's going to an auction over there in New South Wales. If you should turn around, it'd be beautiful. Double factor spangles, okay. double factors. They can't have added the uh, liquid gold. So see if we get a closer look up. I thought you could see the colour has changed from the other. Tremendous bird. Film, so just race back to that one you'll see. Long time, but it has uh, changed a little bit. So I've seen away. Another nice bird. I'm trying to keep my uh, Ovi covered in this. I'll move on. Away. Sit under a perch under because um, a, a cook bird will always perch or will, will be on the ground, okay, um, and they will be in a corner somewhere. So, if you narrow down the spots where they can um, drop their infectious um, feces, I think that, that's uh, a, a one percent. What do you reckon? There's a split um, recessive pie and opaline light green. You may end up in someone's place. This is the year I'm finishing uh, breeding and hope to have no birds left by uh, July next year. Good as any bird that you'll buy at any auction in Australia. There's one here. There's some crackers. Unfortunately, uh, I'm not sending in birds to the National because WA is not uh, sending a team because of the uh, problems with. Uh, um, Looking up as a team over there, which is unfortunate. Okay, we're starting to move in onto that uh, soft food and, and um, the blue ring. <coughs> Not bad looking at the fish and for him there. Blue ring coming through. Hopefully, ready for next year's matches. 